Hello everybody, welcome to the I Am IT Geek YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dan, as ever, I am the IT Geek. We are back with another video, but we are starting a new series. Um, I think for those who are kind of following my content, uh, my last series was the SC100 Microsoft Cybersecurity Architect exam topic series. It was almost 50 episodes, uh, and, and you know what, I felt like I need a break from the exam content stuff. Um, because don't get me wrong, it's very popular and, and a lot of it helps a lot of people. Um, but I was I was starting to get bored of it for myself. So I thought I'd have a break. I'm gonna go back to my original passion, which is um, VDI, really Microsoft VDI specifically. So that's what this kind of new series is all about. And and Microsoft VDI has grown so much since I did my original. I'll put the link in the description. But my original uh, zero to hero uh, Windows uh, Windows Virtual Desktop at the time, but as your Virtual Desktop series um, and what I thought was is like on Windows 365 there's dev box has come out since is the Windows app there's all sorts has happened in the last couple of years so I thought I'd do a bit of series around that and then also try and link that to some other kind of content around um, third-party tools that you can integrate like you know with VDI like Nerdio control stuff like that so there's loads and loads of content I've got coming up towards the end of the year um, so this is the first little introduction episode into my Microsoft VDI series so without further ado let's get started with this episode uh, so this is my Microsoft VDI series. This is the, that's the first this is the introduction and what I want to do is I want to talk a little bit about uh, Windows app as well. So um, in this series, I'm going to cover th three main areas, three main topics. Um, and, and these are all kind of Microsoft VDI services really. So that includes DevBox. We'll start off by talking about DevBox and what that is. Uh, Windows 365 and then Azure Virtual Desktop. But as part of each of those solutions, because they're all VDI solutions, Microsoft Cloud solutions for VDI, I'm going to cover an overview of the features and architecture of all those different solutions. I'll cover like a step-by-step -step deployment demos. So we'll do multiple, or we'll do again, a demo in each episode. But the demo will do part of the deployment. So as you'll see, we'll do, we'll talk about some theoretical bits, some features, benefits, limitations, and stuff like that. And then we'll do a demo in each. And all the demo will be is us going through the configuration of that particular solution. So we're going to start off with DevBox um, in the next episode. And that's going to be, I don't know how many episodes long, but I'm just going to go through it in quite a bit of detail. Talk about the benefits and limitations, as I said, and we'll also talk about real world sort of use case options as well. Um, and that'll be more from my experience. I'll talk about those. Um, and hopefully that'll help people understand a bit more about these products and where they fit in the industry and in the sort of those those key scenarios and use cases. So as I mentioned, I want to talk a little about Windows app uh, in this particular episode to finish off. So um, this is just like I said, an introduction to the series, um, but also I wanted to thought Windows app has recently become GA. I thought what better, better time to, to, to launch and to talk about it than, than this uh, series intro. And again, all the soft connectivity that we're going to do is going to be based on Windows app. So this is, uh, so yeah, let me talk a little bit about what it is. So first of all, what is the Windows app? So Windows app is 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 the, the new sort of gateway uh, to, to Azure Virtual Desktop, Windows 365, um, DevBox, and, and remote desktop services and any remote PCs that you might have. Uh, it allows you to securely connect to your sort of Windows devices and applications. You can use Windows app on, on many different types of devices, on sort of different platforms and, and sort of form factors such as desktops, laptops, tablets, smartphones, and you know, sort of through sort of a web browser as well. And when you use a web browser on a desktop or a laptop, you can connect without having to download or install any software. So from a platform availability perspective, it's, it's available on uh, Windows, uh, Mac OS, uh, iOS, so iPad, so that's the Apple devices. Uh, Android and Chrome OS and Chrome OS is pretty currently preview, but also as I mentioned, you can do web browsers and connect to your to you know via HTML5. So Windows app is really designed with a customizable sort of home screen that's going to allow you to cater for your sort of new unique workflow needs. You can access Windows uh, across multiple different services, remote PCs from a single place, and sort of pin your sort of favorite um, favorites to your sort of uh, that you can access the most. I'm going, to, I'm, going to show, I'm going to show the Windows app in a little demo shortly. Uh, and if you use sort of multiple accounts as well, which I'll show, you can easily switch between those, you know, uh, without having to sort of log in and log out. There are many features to, to enhance that sort of remote 
experience. Uh, they include multiple monitor support. You've got custom display resolutions. You have dynamic display resolutions and scaling. You can have device redirection, such as your, your webcam, audio, storage devices, and printers. Uh, obviously, it's got Microsoft Teams optimization as well. You can sign to multiple accounts, and I'm going to show. So that's my series intro. Hopefully, I've covered what you can expect in the series, um, but also talked a little about Windows app. So I want to jump into a little demo of the Windows app now, um, just to show how it works and how you can switch between accounts, some of those features. So please join me in the demo. So the first things first, we need to obviously deploy it. Now, um, I'm on a Mac at the moment, and it's available on the, the app store. And the same with Windows, I can get through the Windows store. So I want to just type in Windows, and you can see that it's the Windows, um, Windows app. And there it is. So you can click on it. And obviously, I've, I've already got it. So here I could update it if I wanted to. Too. Um, and essentially, you just install it from here. So I would install it. And then that will download it onto my local device. Again, in my case, I've got Mac OS, which is, as we saw, it does support. Um, so yeah, you do it from your, your local your local store. So if you're on Android, it'll be the, the, the Google Play Store. If it's Windows, it'll be the Windows Store. But in my case, it is the uh, Apple Store. And here it is. So you again, it'll be it'll be a little icon on your desktop or your, your taskbar. And this is how it looks essentially. So you've got like your favorites, and you can add favorites here. So I could. I could add this as my favorite uh, by just clicking on that and it should appear on there. I probably haven't added it properly. There we go. Uh, you've got your different devices here. So this is my IMIT Geek Workspace. What we'll do, what we'll find is as I create my first dev box and my Windows 365, as I create all that, we'll start seeing that populate in here. So at the moment I've got one AVD workspace, which is my, I've got, I've got, um, I've got a host pool that I, I use uh, more for my demos and, and actually for my video editing, fully enough, it's quite a powerful VM. I've also got any applications, so we'll deploy some applications in AVD at some point in the series, and we'll be able to see those here as well. Now, again, as I mentioned, you can actually, if you want to add a workspace, you do it from the top here, you can add your work or a school account, you can add a workspace or a PC, um, and then you've got different sort of view settings as well. So when you do click on on this bottom icon, which is like your account, it opens up another box which you can't see unfortunately because of the way my screen's been shared. But that'll just have your, your accounts that you've added, um, and you can then log into multiple accounts. But you do it from the bottom there, um, and again, this will have a list of all our other devices. So as we go along, we'll see this populated. But I'll, I'll, I've got to admit, since since using this compared to the old remote desktop, I really really like it. It's a lot smoother. It's less clunkier. Um, and I like the fact that Windows 365 and DevBox are all part of it. And it's just a lot more user friendly, in my opinion. Um, and again, you can actually, uh, you know, you can rename it. You can click on, click on the top here and you could rename your, your PC if you wanted. You could also change to save the credentials. Um, and there's just a lot more, a lot more to this. And I do enjoy using this a lot more than I did the um, original remote desktop. It's like anything, it's gonna, you know, the, the way you connect to the cloud PCs is just on the VDIs is gonna enhance and Microsoft obviously been putting a lot of development time in there. So this is now officially uh, GA, you can use this and we'll be using it throughout the, the demos that we're gonna do. So that's just a quick intro then. Um, I'm, I'm very, very, at the moment, I'm very, very close like 400 subscribers away from 20k so uh, i'm gonna do a little little video and put it on my socials around uh, doing a giveaway i'm gonna give away some i'm gonna get some of the imit geek t-shirts made which i did that a couple of years ago i think so i'll get some more made about 10 of them and i'll do a big giveaway um and it's not you know it's not going to cost anything it'll just be people entering it you know just 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 kind of putting give me their email address and i'll do a random a random giveaway basically one of those wheel things um so i'm going to put loads of useful links in the um description uh i'll just you know description below to some information about devbox and, and and windows 365 and avd so hopefully you can start looking at those yourself so hopefully everyone enjoys this series please do give me a like a comment and if you're not subscribed please do subscribe um so i'll see you in the next episode and we're going to start off the this series by looking at uh, devbox microsoft devbox so we're going to have quite a few episodes planned and some demos planned so please join me in the next video so until next time goodbye